From Disney's Grand Floridian for the last time. We have just checked out of the room and we're now here in the lobby. We're going to take a little look around because we haven't actually explored um, most of it. So, Mum hasn't seen the shops, the bar. I just wanted to show her what it looks like. It's not open at the moment. And we're just going to have a little wander around. Then, we're going to head over to Wilderness Lodge. So, today we're just having a very relaxed resort day. We're going to go to Disney Springs as well. And then this evening, we are eating at Ohana. We've got quite a late reservation. So, we're just going to have a really nice, relaxed day. We were in the Magic Kingdom last night until it was like 1 30 by the time we got away and by the time we got to sleep it was quite late so just a nice relaxing Disney resort day today so you can't really see in here at the moment because they do have screens but I'm gonna just peek around the screen I don't know if we're supposed to but let's just have a little look so this is the Enchanted Rose bar I have been in here before but not since it's been updated I don't think but anyway this is what it looks like it's very nice in here yeah so this is called Enchanted Rose it's kind of Beauty and the Beast themed and here is where they used to have the big band that used to play unfortunately they're not here anymore it was so amazing to walk in and see the band playing so I do really miss that about this resort but they do still have the piano player who is amazing they play throughout the day it just varies normally I would say kind of like lunchtime afternoon onwards and through here on this upper floor they have Citrico and Victoria and Albert's. I have eaten at Citrico's before, I'll link that vlog below. Never eaten at Victoria and Albert's though, I think it would be wasted on me because I am a little bit fussy with food and it's a very, very posh, expensive restaurant so I don't think it would be my kind of thing but I know people who have been and they just said it was absolutely amazing. It was closed for ages after Covid, I'm not 100% sure whether it's reopened. I'll put it on the screen. This is very cute decor they have here, it's like a little model of a Ferris wheel but it's like a really old, worn Ferris wheel. <laughs> And it does seem to have had a little accident here. I'm not sure that that's correct. Do you think it's supposed to be like that? I'm not going to touch it. It's old. But it's had a, it's had a yes. an, an incident. We best not touch it though. I feel like that's kind of crazy for when you're going on theme park rides. That doesn't fill you with confidence. You definitely wouldn't want that happening. I think someone has been playing with it because that's probably not supposed to be like that. I certainly, I wouldn't want to be, I definitely wouldn't want to be in this one, but I don't think I'd want to be in any of them, to be honest. None of that looks good. And they do have the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique here. It does say, sorry, we are closed, but I don't know if that is kind of, when I say permanently, I mean, again, since COVID, it just hasn't reopened. I think that's the case. It's normally open at eight till four. They do have another one um, in the Magic Kingdom and I think they still have the one at Disney Springs. So this is just like a miniature version of it, which is very, very cute. But I assume they just haven't reopened this yet since COVID. And just here you have Basin, which is another store that you'll find at Disney Springs. They have two locations. They do bath bombs and soaps. It always smells amazing. Let's go and take a look in there. The soaps in here are the best part. So they have all these different Disney designs. I'm pretty sure I bought mum one of these as a souvenir one year. I'm yeah, sure I, I did. did. Yeah. yeah. In fact, nice. I think it was like this. I can't remember which one it was. I think it looked like that yeah. with the Mickey heads in. I like this one too with the Mickey heads oh, and nice. flowers. Get yeah, you get the colour that you want. They have pretty They're much. too nice to use though. Yeah, that is the trouble. But that lemon one smells nice. They do have pretty much every colour. Oh yeah, Citrus. that one's really nice actually. Mm -hmm. Lemongrass and cranberry. Smells very fresh. Mm. It wouldn't look so like they had an Easter one. That one's on uh, offer at the moment, 40% off. And they have the boutique bath bomb. They have bath bomb marbles as well, so like little mini ones. You put them in one of the tubes and have lots of the different fragrances. Oh, mango sounds nice. Stress relief shower bomb. And they do have salts. For these you can do a multi-colour one. Then. Yeah, you can put a bit of everything in. Yeah. You have a rainbow one here. And we're just going to pop into Curiouser Clothiers because this is the store that will have everything that says Grand Floridian on it. I can already see the ears. It is. One thing you should know about mum, she is totally obsessed. She does. Any Anytime there's a bag in the vicinity, a bag shop, she will be all over it. And these are the Grand Floridian ears, which I do have actually. Hi. Hi, how are you? They do have the Grand Floridian ornament, which is actually a contender for something for a souvenir. On the other side it has Minnie and Mickey 
inside the resort. I do love that, it's very heavy though. I'm wondering whether my tree would want to support it. <laughs> After much debate, we've gone for the ornament and the um, mug, I've just got so many already. So we've gone for this. I think this will be perfect. And this will last a lot longer. I can keep this for forever, basically. It's a reminder of our trip. The cast members were amazing in there and they've given mum a first visit, so that's lovely. And on mine, she's changed first to 27. <laughs> so we've both got our little um, buttons now. So we're just getting the monorail one stop over to the Magic Kingdom and then jumping on a boat over to Wilderness Lodge. Always feels strange being at the Magic Kingdom and not going in, but today we are headed for the resort launch boat and we've got a monorail coming. The sun is beautiful today. I love days like this. We're just having a relaxing Disney day. Here we are at Wilderness Lodge. I love this resort so much. Mum just said if I stayed here, I'm working my way through all the Disney resorts. It's actually mostly the moderates that I haven't stayed. There's a few deluxe resorts. I think I've done all the values now. So I am working my way slowly through every Disney resort. So we're just in Roaring Fork. Look at the Roaring S'more. And they have this bear moose as well. He's very cute. Look at this. They have the grizzly grizzly bear claw which is the biggest danish i have ever seen in my life that is huge and they also have like a cinnamon bun here at the bottom so we have our lunch and i went for the kids chicken strips and this is actually a really good sized portion for a kid's meal definitely wouldn't want anything larger unless you've got a bigger appetite this is perfect and i've just got a little coleslaw and a coffee and i've gone for the wilderness bark latte they do have specialty coffees here and their lattes are really really good i've had this exact one before and it was really nice mum just has some fries and coleslaw that's what she fancied mm. so we've had our lunch and here we are in the lobby absolutely love this it's very similar to animal kingdom lodge just in the grand kind of scale and the theming so we can't wait to get to animal kingdom lodge later to see that as well might have a little look around the store in a minute because they do tend to have some good stuff in there yeah and they've got these um i think these are tiana ones they're pretty that mum likes they also have these which are bunny ones they're very exciting yeah it does always seem strange having uh, the fire burning and that is actually quite warm not really needed in florida i have to say Oh, so this is to do with the Worldwide Conservation mm. Fund. Oh, okay, so this, I guess, is the places that have raised the most money for the Conservation mm. Fund. And it looks like Wilderness Launch has had it several yeah. times. I quite like this cushion as well. Yeah. Tinkerbell. That's for the Disney 100 celebration. Yeah. I have had these bags of popcorn before, but I have to say it took me about 12 different kind of sittings to eat it because <laughs> it's very sweet. So <laughs> it started to go a bit it sticky. It, yeah, it goes a long way and it got a bit sticky towards the end. I love the little flowers with faces. I always love those in Alice in Wonderland. And then you've got the uh, rabbit on the other side. And they do still have the 50th bag. I've got mine on today, actually. And they're not reduced yet, so they are still selling these at full price. And they do have my absolute favourite spirit jersey, which is just the plain black and white. It's always my favourite one. I do wear that all the time. So we are now in a comfortable chair. I am finding it hard to stay awake. I'm going to be completely honest. Yeah, mum just said the same. She was like, I need to lean forward, otherwise I'm going to fall asleep in this chair. Because um, we didn't get, I was working it out. I think I got like four and a half hours sleep in the end because of the late night and then getting up to check out. So we are a little bit tired today. We are having a very, very easy day today. I did say on this trip that it's kind of a holiday as well. Like it's a vacation for us both. So I won't be doing as much as some of the days. Like normally I find it really hard to not be like doing something, even if I'm just walking around the resorts, but I don't normally kind of sit for too long. Um, but we're just having a very relaxed day today. And we're about to go and get a bus to Animal Kingdom and then we'll get on a bus to Animal Kingdom Lodge because we can check in. I think check-in is from 4 p.m. in the DVC resorts, but you can sometimes get in earlier. But if not, we can just sit in the lobby, have a coffee, take everything in. And um, then we are doing something exciting this evening. So dinner at Ohana is of course exciting. But before that, um, one of my very lovely subscribers has invited us over to visit them at Shades of Green. So Shades of Green is a military resort and is one of the very, very few if any other Disney resorts, I think that you can't just go and look around. So any of the others, you can just walk in, but Shades of Green, um, you can't from a security point of view. You have to have a reason to be there. And they've invited us 
over to take a look and I'll be able to show you guys. So that's very exciting today. I've never been able to do that before in the vlog. So we're going to take a look at Shades of Green, then head to the Polynesian and finally eat dinner at Ohana. So very nice relaxing day today, but we don't want to get too relaxed that we're falling asleep in public spaces because that's not great. You can fall asleep and I don't think anybody would say anything, but yeah, what if I woke up and it's like 10 p.m. So let's not do that. We're going to go get the bus down to you, Animal Kingdom. So here's a last little look at Wilderness Lodge for you guys. The guy in the giant hat, by the way, who works in Whispering Canyon is hilarious. We've been watching him for a while and there's a lot of shenanigans going on over there. That's quite a fun restaurant to go to if you like that type of thing, just like fun, high energy, um, lots of jokes and things going on. I think they do read the room like you can eat there without it being like that but he has been very fun that server who's there today another place that's great here and i haven't been for a while is territory lounge so there they have a bar i think they sometimes serve coffee during the day i probably should have gone and had a look if they do but they just have some really nice snacks there in the evening i've had some great um, truffle fries there before i had like a cheese fondue type thing so that's here uh, it says there on the sign open 4 p.m till 10 p.m so perhaps they don't open for coffee anymore they just open in the evenings so if anyone spotted we were off in the wrong direction i forgot we weren't getting a boat <laughs> we need to get a bus so we've had to do a, a turnaround and come this way and we just met some lovely subscribers so hi to you guys and happy birthday we're at animal kingdom now we're obviously not going in we are just getting ourselves an animal kingdom lodge bus and then we're going to head over and see if we can check into our new room Okay, we've made it. We're gonna head in, see if our room's ready. I think it will be now, actually. We're a bit later than I thought we were gonna be getting here. So we've just arrived in our room here at Kadani Village, and this one has a little kitchenette because most DVC resorts in a studio do have a little kitchen. The one that we've just come from at the Grand Floridian, like I was saying, is a converted hotel room. So that just has like a very small little area with the coffee machine and the refrigerator. Here we've got a microwave and a toaster. Then you have the little sink. You also have a coffee maker, but it's like a coffee pot rather than the Keurig machine. Then you have a bigger refrigerator in here. And I think there is a little ice box bit in the top. And then that will just be um, trash and stuff in there. What kind of coffee do we have? Oh, it's not the 50th blend, it's the resort blend. I'm looking forward to trying that one. There's one, two, three, four, five coffees, just in case anyone's interested in that kind of detail. You do have a connecting door there because these can be made into like a one bed unit. So you would have this and another one. But when it's a studio, you just have that door is locked. And then in here, you have the bathroom. So you have this big kind of vanity with the mirror, one sink there. To the left, you have the toilet in a separate little room. So that's actually quite useful that people can go in there and close that side and then the bathroom could still be used. And then the shower is over the tub. There's probably the closet with the safe and everything. Yep, so you have an iron, ironing board, extra pillows and stuff, and safe down there. And coming into the main part of the room, there is a wardrobe, then TV and some drawers and everything there. And there is somewhere to set your luggage down to. You have a little table and chairs with a mirror here. I was just on the balcony checking that out. Then you have a table and a sofa. This is actually a sofa bed. It's got this really cool decor as well. And on the little balcony, there's table and chair. Have we only got one chair? No, we have two chairs, there's one behind me. And this is just the standard view, so we're literally looking out onto some luggage apparently. And some trees. No exciting savannah view, but those rooms do use a lot more points. You need more points to stay in those than a standard. The amount of time I ever sit out on the balcony is practically zero. So although it is nice to have a good view, I generally will go for a standard view. So we're just hanging out here in the room and unfortunately we've been a little bit delayed. So we were going to get the luggage and then just get freshened up and head out to go to Shades of Green and then to the Polynesian. However, our luggage is not here yet. It's actually quite delayed. So I've just called Bell Services, then I called the Grand Floridian at Bell Services, which they told me to do. And they said it is on its way. Um, so I think we're going to just head downstairs to the lobby. We want to get some milk for our cups of tea and we thought we might as well kill some time and do that. So I'll take you guys with us to just have a look in the shop down there. Once we've got the luggage and got ourselves sorted out, depending what the time is, we might go straight to the Polynesian and then go to Shades of Green in the morning or we might go there depending if it's quick enough. But we'll see what happens. I've messaged my friend just to tell her what's happening and uh, yeah, hopefully... Pretty soon we will either be off to the Polynesian or two shades of green. You've just seen it go past. We're, you know I said we were overlooking the luggage. Mum keeps going out and like looking, seeing she's just seen it. She's gone past 
she's been monitoring the situation so the luggage has arrived to be honest all of this is all about mum's cup of tea she needs her cup of tea and she wants the kettle so that's the main thing that we've been waiting for honestly the reason i'm finding it so funny is because mum honestly is so obsessed with tea so uh, we'll go and get our milk and then we can get the luggage and get a cup of tea mum's very excited she's just spotted a giraffe it is her absolute favorite animal i think yeah let's zoom in there he is he's just over by those rooms if you have the rooms that are really close it is amazing if you've got a savannah view because you basically go out on your balcony and there's a giraffe right there which is really awesome just peering in and just to show you so they have these really nice little rocking chairs out here basically you can sit here and it overlooks the entire savannah so here we are at johari treasures and because this is a dvc resort they obviously have a grocery section and they actually have pretty good choice here and any essentials and things you might have forgotten and this is also where the refillable mug station is I always see this Disney Vacation Club luggage tag, which I quite like, but the place on the back to right is so small. I feel like that's a tiny space. I don't know if I'd fit everything in there. And they also have an ornament too. So we are heading back out and we've got some very nice, beautiful sky going on here. We've managed to have a little rest and get up some enthusiasm to go back out. Not that I'm not enthusiastic for Ohana. Do not misunderstand me. I'm always <laughs> enthusiastic for Ohana. What I mean is we sat, we sat on the couch, yet we did not sleep a lot last night. Yeah, you'll probably notice I haven't vlogged much today. It's mostly because we've just been wafting around feeling very sleepy for the most part. <laughs> then our luggage took ages to yeah, arrive, arrive, so we had to wait for that. So um, I'm going to go and do Shades of Green in the morning. I think I mentioned that. So um, just Ohana tonight, going to dinner. Very hungry now, actually, so we're excited yes. for our dinner. Ourselves. We have, yes, we've been careful today. We had our lunch quite early and haven't had anything since. No. And I will take you guys over to Jambo House while we're here this week as well, because Kadano Village is the DVC section, but Jambo House is like the main part of Animal Kingdom Lodge with the bigger lobby. So we'll definitely go over and take a look at that, but this is very beautiful too. Okay, we are now here at the Magic Kingdom again, but we're not going in. We're just off on the boat across to the Polynesian. We could get the monorail, but we figured the boat would be nice. We've got Happily Ever After happening here. We just got off the boat. So on our walk over to Ohana, we can see these. We will definitely watch them in the park at some point this trip. And we've arrived at the Polynesian. It's not very busy here today, actually. Not too many people around. I was just telling mum, this is one of my favorite places to come for a break. Or if I ever need to do any work, I love coming here because you've got Kona Island coffee over there. And we've got a little seat here just to watch the fireworks out the window while we're waiting for our time. seated and we're right in the middle this time I actually don't sit in the middle very often I tend to be on the perimeter me and mum were just laughing because we've got this really huge table it's hard to explain how far away that is so the plates are actually set here so we're actually side by side and we're just wondering whether that's weird I don't know when you go for dinner it's very odd to just kind of be both sat yeah we're we're basically sat here staring at our non-existent dining companions so we were trying to figure out whether one of us should go over there but I don't think we'll be able to speak because it's so far away I won't be able to hear you so I think we're just going to stick with this this statue guy can be our dining companion okay the food has started to come and when you come to Ohana the food comes out quick and as the guy said on the way in be ready and be hungry that is good advice for Ohana because it's a lot of food but it's really really good but it does sort of come thick and fast and in a minute the whole table all seems to be full of stuff so the salad looks unchanged from last time so it's more of a garden salad it used to be a little bit more kind of like they had like little crispy wonton strips and stuff and then you have the bread which has changed various times over the years but I think at the moment it's still like a coconutty type bread yeah I think the butter has some kind of like honey drizzle on it here is our skillet usually you would have chicken wings in here but neither of us like them so we've got our pork pot stickers these are just everything I love them then we've got the noodles which are also everything and I'm very excited to report that the broccoli is now just regular broccoli it was broccolini before which is not my favorite thing so I'm very glad to see that it's regular broccoli now and now we have some steak here which mum just had some I think was it good yeah 
now. We haven't attempted the chicken yet, which has got the chimichurri sauce. The server was saying this is her favourite. Mum is just um, disassembling a shrimp and trying those. As you guys know, I don't like them, so we'll see what the opinion is. Nice. And we're being very British and of course having a hot tea because here the soft drinks are included so you can get tea or soda or whatever you want. You can get tea and soda if you want so I always recommend having a cup of tea with your bread pudding. Always a good plan. Okay we are all done and as you can see when you have a late reservation we've practically closed the place down. Everyone's nearly gone. There's a few people dotted around but it's very nice. Mum enjoyed it didn't you? It's good. Yes we're not so full that we feel you know, unwell, we're okay. So we're just waiting for our Uber and I love this area at the front of the Polynesian. We're just having a little wander around so mum can take it all in. So we're just figuring out the pull-out sofa. I haven't had to do one of these for a long time because normally they have the pull-down beds now. What were we thinking from the diagram? It says you pull it upwards, but how do you get it past the cushions? Well, I thought that because the cushions are attached, aren't they? Yeah, you can't get the cushions off. Oh, mum's got it. So you just pull this handle at the bottom, and then oh, this the bit is the other it's leg. Like it is. Mm. And the bedding's already on it. So, yeah, there is the bed settee. I will be completely honest, I was not sure we were going to get out of there alive with that Uber ride. That was weird. That was probably the first time I've ever felt a little bit unsafe in an uber not like i thought he was going to do anything strange but his driving was like a bit erratic it felt like he was like swerving around and stuff but anyway we got here okay i think he didn't know where he was going so like every time he was looking at the sat nav he was then like swerving around i was like what is happening and we had to wait ages for him to turn up as well there were hardly any drivers around so we're back a little bit later than we would have liked but never mind we've got the bed pulled out as you saw so um we're going to turn in tomorrow morning i'm going to be going across to shades of green to see my friend then we're going to be going to hollywood studios and yeah just have another awesome day at Disney. Been loving it so far. Mum has been loving everything. She really enjoyed Ohana. The food, what was your favourite thing at Ohana? Prawns. I do like prawns. Oh yeah, Mum liked the shrimp. It was good. All very nice. Yeah, it was good. We still love Ohana. I do think it is kind of pricey, if I'm totally honest. Unless you have a really, really big appetite, it's kind of difficult to justify. Like, I, I just feel like it's it's a lot it's gone up and it's gone up over time i still love it i don't do it every single trip anymore i do it sort of every few trips you need a big appetite yeah it. yeah it's a yeah. lot of food and um it's still really good it is amazing i feel like it's never been quite as good since they don't have the skewers anymore they used to have the coconut races around the restaurant where the kids would like race around with like coconuts and brooms i don't know if anyone ever saw that but it was really good it's not quite what it was say like five six years ago but it's still good i do still enjoy it and it was nice for mum to see it because I've obviously been there so many times and on this trip we're trying to do quite a lot of the stuff that she's heard a lot about so that was really good. I think this vlog is going to roll right into tomorrow's vlog because today we didn't really do much this has probably been quite short so we are going to head to bed now and then you'll be seeing us in the morning and I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone today who came over to say hi. We met quite a few of you, we were only browsing around the resorts but we did see a lot of you so hello to everyone who came over, we love having a little chat with you all and we will see you in the morning okay i've arrived back at animal kingdom lodge but i'm at jambo house this time so this is the main lobby of animal kingdom lodge oh there's mum i can see her waving this lobby is so impressive because this is the main lobby it's a lot bigger than the one at kadani village but you have to come here to have a look around if you're ever doing like a resort day it's always difficult to film it because the light at the end of the room there we go so impressive so I'm just sat here with mum, just been catching up on what she's been doing. You've just had a wander, haven't you? And so um, just been catching up on that. And um, it was so lovely to get to see Shades of Green. I did do a little bit of filming, so I'll put that on now on the screen so you guys can see. It's a lovely sort of chilled resort, I would say. So it's like a golfing resort, or it was originally, and now it's for military only. It was lovely to meet Laura and Stephen, so thank you to you guys for inviting me across to take a look. And uh, yeah, we walked around by the pool and just around the lobby area. The fountain outside reminded me of the lobby in the Polynesian when they used to have the waterfall there. But it was really great to have a look around, so I enjoyed that. 
and now we're just about to set off to Hollywood Studios so I'm gonna get my ears out and um, we're gonna go off and just have a little bit of a wander around today we've got another day there later in the trip so today we'll just see what we see mum's not been before so it will just be kind of taking it all in yeah we need to grab some lunch as well definitely need something to eat now we might try and do Mickey and Minnie's runaway railway but it depends how long the wait is because it is like the middle of the day when it tends to be longer and we'll definitely try and do Muppet Vision 3D something like that maybe but just have a wander around show mum galaxy's edge and just like how impressive all of that is toy story land we might try and do toy story mania as well we'll see what happens well there's good timing we have just walked up to the bus stop and here is the hollywood studios bus perfect and we've arrived at hollywood studios and the weather is actually a little bit overcast today so it's quite nice because the sun is not too hot but it's very warm very nice so perfect temperature the finger scanner does not like mum <laughs> <laughs> it happened again. So it keeps flashing blue and it, it's the um, finger thing. It just, it does not like mum's finger. She said don't finger. press it so hard. Yeah, maybe you press too hard. Anyway, we're in now, thank goodness. And uh, we've decided to go for lunch. We are going to go to Pizza Rizzo because if you remember last time they were closed um, when Catherine and I went to go. So we've decided we're going to get pizza today. And it's lunchtime now. It's actually past lunchtime. So we're going to go and get that straight away and then start our Hollywood Studios wandering. And we've got Mr and Mrs Incredible doing a meet and greet over here. That's actually a pretty good picture, it's a good backdrop there. Yeah. And I'm just doing mobile order for our lunch. I always tend to do our mobile order just on the way over and then when we get there we can just pick it up, it's a lot easier. I would highly recommend mobile order. Okay, here we are at Pizza Rizzo. I'm very hungry now so I'm looking forward to this. And like I was saying earlier, bear in mind with this restaurant it does close at 5, so it's 11 until 5, so it has quite short hours. Okay, we're seated in this very cute little booth seat here. Um, Mum and I both went for the same, we have the veggie pizza and it comes with a little side you can have carrots i think or the caesar salad i actually really like the little caesar salad and i also got a non-alcoholic peach bellini slushy and you guys know i love a peach drink so hopefully this will be really good mum just went with the soda so let's try this peach drink and see what it's like Ooh, that's really good it's actually quite like citrusy as well, but then you do really get the peach taste. That's a very good slushy. So I'm just taking a look at the wait times while we're sat here, just to see what kind of day it is at Hollywood Studios. So we've got 60 minutes for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, then 45 minutes for Toy Story Mania, Alien Swelling Saucers 20, and Millennium Falcon 55 minutes, then Rise of the Resistance 55 minutes. That's really not bad at all for that attraction. So it can't be too crazy here today. Let's just check on Tower of Terror is 55 as well. So considering Rock and Roller Coaster is closed, the wait times are not that bad for the other attractions today. Got some super loud music behind me, so I hope you guys can hear me. Um, we've got a plan of action. We're gonna go to see Muppet Vision 3D. Then we're gonna head into Galaxy's Edge just to take a look around so mum can see that. I'm excited to see her reaction to it. It's obviously very impressive. And finally, we're then gonna go along and take a look at some of the stores. We'll be back here later in the trip as well, so that's the plan of action for this afternoon. Icons only. First, when entering the theater, please move as far to the end of the row as possible. Stopping in the middle is distinctly unpatriotic. Second, do not attempt to walk. While wearing your 3D glasses, you may trip. Hey, Waldorf, what are we going to see in here anyway? It's one of those 3D movies. Put on your glasses, Tyler. We love that attraction. It's a classic. And there is a little Disney duck enjoying Miss Piggy's fountain here. <laughs> That's so cute. I can see their little legs going underneath. <laughs> and the wait time for Rise of the Resistance is 40 minutes. I think we're going to go for it because it doesn't get much better than that. I'm really quite surprised at a 40 minute wait in the middle of the day. Well, I say middle of the day, it's like 4 p.m. or something. We've made it and it took 36 minutes. Is everyone assembled? Good. Should you be a tribe prep? 
What did I say? 36 minutes? Yeah, it's 36 minutes, I think. That is the lowest I have ever seen it. So good. And we loved it, as always. Mum loved it. She was just like, what's yeah. happening now? Like, what's happening it's next? Good. It is, yeah, it's amazing. I'm not sure what's happening over here. Something very exciting. And the reason for the crowd over here, I think it's Baby Yoda. Yes, I know that's not his real name, but that's what I call him. There he is. Oh, how cute. He's so cute. <laughs> and it is difficult getting a photo. As you probably saw there, there was like quite a crowd of people. There's not really a line as such, so you just have to kind of stand and like he'll call you forward, yeah. And it's really not too busy back here today. I've seen it a lot more crowded. It's fairly easy to walk around. It does seem to be a very quiet day at Hollywood Studios and it was at Epcot the other day too. So I think we've lucked out with the time that we've decided to visit. This definitely feels a lot quieter than it did at May last year. And the standby wait for Millennium Falcon is 55 minutes, which is actually a little higher then we waited for Rise of the Resistance, which is kind of crazy. Don't forget you can always use single rider if you don't mind that and you will likely get on a lot quicker. And the stormtroopers are out over here. And they just wander around the whole area. That's what I really like. The characters just kind of wander around a bit more. 
and we're just heading through Toy Story Land. We're not stopping to do any attractions today. We want to go over and have a look at some of the stores. Mum hasn't really done a lot of merchandise browsing yet, so yeah, we want to go and look in all of the ones along Sunset Boulevard. And at the end here, Roundup Rodeo Barbecue is now open. I did try and try and try to get a reservation here. I really wanted us to be able to go here to show you guys what it's like, but there were just no reservations whatsoever. So hopefully on my next trip, I'll get to go there. So we're just sitting having our coffee. We've got Joffrey's in the end. We're gonna head into some of these stores in a second. And we've met loads of you guys today. So hello to everybody who came up to say hi. We love having a little chat, don't we? Yep, mum's been meeting everyone as well. I think there's gonna possibly be a bit of rain. It's getting a bit windy. We're just wondering if a storm might be brewing. We did have a coffee spillage incident. Well, I should say, I had a coffee spillage incident, which we were in the middle of dealing with. But then we decided to double down and mum spilled her coffee. <laughs> we had tissues, it was fine. It wasn't a major spillage, but uh, yeah, we could have done without that. Anyway, now we're gonna head into the store. It doesn't look too busy, which is good. They have a new lounge fly here. They have a rock and roller coaster one. It's currently down for refurbishment, so I guess they maybe have brought this out to commemorate the current version. We don't know exactly what's happening with it, whether they are completely retheming it or who knows, but yeah, this is cool. And they have a vest and a t-shirt here too. And they have this range, which is like pastel Little Mermaid. So they have this shirt with flounder on and this dress with Ariel. Yeah. Mum's making an assessment of it. Yeah, <laughs> the sewing. Oh, they also have this hoodie. They have loads of Moana items at the moment. She's definitely having her moment. Moana pyjama. Is that pyjamas? Kind of looks like it is, maybe it's not. And they have this very, very exciting dress here. If you are feeling like having a very glamorous Magic Kingdom moment. It has the castle underneath and then like a sheer fireworks layer over the top. That'd be very glamorous for Dapper Day or something like yeah. that. These do feel a tad out of season because it is very warm at the moment, but there's a, a whole woolly hat section. I do you quite like this 50th bag? White's not very, yeah. White's not overly practical. I'm wanting to go swimming again when I feel like that would be a good bag for my swimming stuff, but yeah, white probably isn't the best, is it? Mum is straight in there with the handbags, as always. 39.99, I thought that would have been more. Yeah. Mum's just spotted this, it's a lamp. So it's like a little mermaid um, with a pearl. Andrew would love that. I feel like mm. I need to take a photo and send it to him. I love this time of night in the parks when the sun is just starting to go down. And this is where you come for Fantasmic down by Tower of Terror. We're not doing that tonight, but we're coming back later in the week. This is definitely my favorite part of the park as well, just walking down through here. I love the music, I love the stores, and I love the palm trees. It's just very, very relaxing. And mum commented when we were sat there on the bench, you just really like the atmosphere here. Yeah, the music, it's very relaxing to just sit on the bench and watch the world go by. And now we're just in the trolley car cafe picking up a carrot cake cookie. It's now called a carrot cake whoopie pie, which is much more appropriate because it's nothing like a cookie. Um, and it's much more of a cake these days. So the name has changed slightly, but the taste is amazing. I feel like mum needs to try it. It's a very iconic snack. Becky wouldn't forgive us if we don't check out the mugs. And I was just saying this one, if like mum, you are a small mug person, because mum likes a small mug, they have a small world mug. That's that one. I don't think it's specifically Small World, I think it's Fantasyland. Actually, it's a bit of everything. It's got Epcot on there. I think I thought it was Small World because it's got this bit here, but actually, it's a bit of everything. So it's got the Tree of Life, it's got Remy. I actually really love that. I just wish for me it would need to be bigger. Mm, how much is it? Uh, it is $16.99. They have this Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway mug. This may be the most impractical mug I have ever seen. I've got the Skyliner one, which is bad enough because it's a square shape. I'm really not certain. I think it'd be okay to drink out of because it's round, but it doesn't seem very practical for cleaning. Why would you ever wash it? Yeah, I don't think... dishwasher. Oh, you wouldn't be able to put it in the dishwasher. No, I, d I think cleaning it would be a problem. And here is my cookie jar. I want to buy this so bad. It is just so heavy. I'm really not sure. I would have to take it on as carry-on luggage, but not have any other carry-on luggage, I think. It's 59 99 but I just, I really want to get it. 
I like this t-shirt, but I don't like the neckline. That's exactly what I was going to say. I like it's everything else. Going on yeah, I like everything else about it, except that. Okay, we're going to exit out of there because it's kind of busy, isn't it? It's a bit um, difficult to see anything, so perhaps we'll go back in when we come back next time. But we're going to head back to the resort now. We just wanted a bit of a brief visit today to look around. And Mum's loved it, actually. She said it's really good, didn't you? The whole the whole vibe at Hollywood Studios. Yes, lovely. Yeah. So we're heading out now and gonna head back to Animal Kingdom. Mum fancies a glass of wine on balcony and um, we're gonna get one in the store at Kadani Village so she can have that. And I've got some editing to do so we're just gonna have a nice relaxing evening. We've had a couple of late nights between Ohana and we had the late night in the Magic Kingdom. So we're just gonna go back and have a nice relaxing evening. Okay, we're gonna see if we can find Mum a glass of wine. I may even have one myself, not that I'm a big drinker, but let's see what they have. <laughs> Mum just gave me the whippy pie. She was like, hang on, I need to get my glasses out to see if she put her sunglasses on. Wrong glasses. <laughs> Wrong ones. Um, we're just debating the wine, but I think we were thinking about a Schofferhofer. They have um, a, a can of Schofferhofer there. Okay, we are back in the room and it is time for us to have some of the carrot cake whoopie pie. Was it called a whoopie pie or was it called whoopie something else? Carrot cake, whoopie pie, wasn't it? Maybe it was whoopie cake. pie. No, wasn't it whoopie cake? Yeah, whoopie cake. Mm. Carrot whoopie cake? I mean, it will forever be the carrot cake cookie to me, even though it is absolutely nothing like a cookie whatsoever. It is totally a cake. Hey everyone, it's much later on now, and I'm ready for bed, as you can see. I don't know what my makeup or hair or anything is doing, so excuse that if it's looking a complete mess. And we're just watching something on Netflix. Um, I saw a little bit of it ages ago. Mum has not seen it before. It's a documentary. Um, it's about a hotel called Hotel Cecil. Um, I don't know if anyone's seen it. It's like a kind of mystery crime thing. It's actually quite interesting. So I've been watching that. I've been doing a little bit of work. I've got some editing to do. And um, I've got quite a lot done. But I'm starting to fall asleep now, I think. So we are going to head to bed now. And tomorrow is Saturday. And in the UK, it's the coronation of King Charles. So it's going to be very early for us. Is that right? Yeah, so when that is going ahead... Oh, I think something's biting me. I think it's 12 o'clock in England. Yeah, so that's going to be like really early for us, seven. isn't it? Like seven or... I don't know. So we'll probably just sit in bed um, and watch the TV. coronation on TV. I'm guessing it is going to be on. And um, have some cups of tea and coffee and stuff. And tomorrow we're having a very relaxing day. Mum is excited for tomorrow. She's already in bed, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. Because we are going to Joanne. As you know, mum is very into her sewing and crafting and stuff and she has been really looking forward to our day going shopping. And then we're gonna go to Target. We'll probably get some breakfast and stuff before we embark on all the shopping. So I'll probably upload that over on my other channel. So that should be up by now, yes, by the time you're watching this. So I will link that below. And then the following day, I think we are off to Epcot again, I wanna say. The next one that you guys are going to see. Our tour around the world. Yes, do the other half. So we need to get back over to Japan and then carry on around to do the rest of it. We also want to do um, like soaring and living with the land. I know Mum's going to love that because she loves gardening and plants and stuff. So we need to get over there. So really looking forward to it. We've still got plenty to come, lots more vlogs. So if you've been enjoying these, please do give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I've got some other vlogs that have been going up recently. My trip to Munich that I did with Becky and lots more to come after these as well. So a huge thank you as well to everyone who came up and said hello to us today in Hollywood Studios. We met so many people today, mm -hmm. didn't we? Did, I think yeah. everyone was in Hollywood Studios today. So hello to everyone who said hi and just thank you to you guys you're always so nice um coming up and saying hello and i do love talking to you all and finding out about your trips and how you're getting on and where you're staying and all of that kind of stuff and thank you to everyone as well for watching commenting subscribing supporting on patreon instagram everything that you guys do you are all amazing and i really do appreciate each and every one of you so much so that's it from us we're gonna go to bed and we will see you in the next one bye Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is awesome.